do you see? Wait. Stand closer. You've got to stand close. Let it pulsate. Let it work with you. Closer. Too close. There. Yeah, how are you? Fine. How are you feeling? Fine. How much of day? Fine. How have you had the painting? Fine. You want dinner? Fine. No, I'll tell you what. It's not fine. Mark Rothko, one of America's leading artists post-Second World War, is at the pinnacle of his career. He's been commissioned to, to paint these murals for the new Seagram's building in New York, uh, for the new restaurant called The Four Seasons. What do you think? I just came across the script and I read it and I fell in love with it and I said, I said, you know, this is a great play that um, I would really want to be in, but unfortunately it's only got two characters and the characters are male. So I said, well, you know, the closest I can get to it is, is I can direct it. Because, you know, he's kind of trying to avoid you and you're really kind of, you know, okay. pointing. Okay? Yes. But it was really interesting that this was one of the few plays where you actually get to see not just what the, who the artist was, but how the artist works as well. Florentine marble. Atomic flash, b b cut yourself shaving, blood in the boss, the ruby slippers, technicolor, that photo of the Kremlin on the president's desk, Russian flag, Chinese flag, Nazi flag. Uh... Ken starts out as one person, it's very changed by the end of it and I think that's the beauty of the piece in itself the fact that the characters evolve simultaneously and yet separately and tend to shift positions sunrise is it red? yes it is I'm telling you it's not yes it is red is sunrise and sunrise is red, red. he is going through what I guess most adult working people go through when they reach their mid-fifties and that is that they feel that they're at the pinnacle of their career and these new upstarts coming out of university are going to take over the world. Well of course they like it, that's the goddamn point. You know what everybody likes nowadays? They like happy bright colors. They want everything pretty, everything beautiful. Now, there were humans at the end of the day and I think that even if you're not so familiar with the people, I think you can still um, understand the fact that all of us are are scared and, and we all feel insecure about things which are important to us. This is a play that people should come and watch because whether you're an artist or not, or whether you like art or not, there is something in these 90 minutes that I think everyone is going to relate to. And we had fun doing this and I think people will as well. Red.